Hey Scorpio, Everlong Mystic here. So today, we're gonna do a story. It's story time. So I'm gonna use some fortune cards here just to get an idea of <clears throat> how to start your story. And then we'll use tarot and I'll just pull as many cards as I can in 15 minute time zone here. All right, so Scorpio's story. What's the story about? Scorpio. All right. <clears throat> oh, wow, you have waiting. I think Libra had waiting, too. Waiting and then frivolity. Waiting on the fun to start. Waiting on the fun to start. All right. So I take it things have been a little serious lately. Oh, that's a big old chunk. I'm not taking the whole chunk. A couple cards. You have to unweave the story. No, weave this unweave the story. Oh my gosh, that's like the opposite of what I meant. Okay. <clears throat> we have like uh, this is Sagittarius vibes right here what are you trying to pinpoint here it's like she's trying to shoot shoot down frivolity like waiting to pinpoint where the next where, where you're gonna have some fun or something I don't know this is confusing so far It's like it's, I mean, it's the chariot card, <clears throat> which is supposed to be movement, but I don't think there's a lot of movement here because you're waiting. It's like something is stalled. Now I'm wondering if it's even you that's waiting, is someone waiting on you. I have five of wands. See, I really like this five of wands because it's in the form of a pentagram, which is an extremely protective symbol. Associated with magic. We have the king of wands. Wow, okay, completely different than what I was <clears throat> Okay, so I was getting one thing with just these cards, like waiting for the fun to start, but with this whole row, what I'm getting is that there's, because this, it's kind of like this is you, the King of Wands is you, Scorpio, and you are waiting <clears throat> for... I mean, the frivolity could be BS, like some, some BS you're trying to get rid of. It's like F the dumb shit, or you know what I mean? Like something like that. Because it's a distraction. Because the Five of Wands can be a distraction. It's like you're ready to get down down to business. So you're not waiting for the fun to start. <clears throat> You're waiting for the clown dancing to go away so that you can get down to real business. I mean, there might be some of you waiting for the fun to start. <laughs> Life isn't all peaches and cream. So we have two of coins here. That lighthouse in the back, it's like a beacon for something. It's not on. You see the light? The light is not on in the lighthouse. Because there's work to do. Yeah, it's like you want... <clears throat> you want the, the BS to go away because you, have work, you still have work to do. You want to get started on work. It's like you want to turn this light on. 
Because there's some kind of, it's, it's like a beacon to bring something to you. I mean, yeah, lighthouse can be a warning <clears throat> for ships. Oh, you're too close to shore. But I feel that <clears throat> it's more of like a beacon. Yeah, see, you have the fool. <clears throat> you want to get started. You want to get started on something. Oh my gosh, and he's on the shore. That is too... That's too crazy. Wow. Okay, we gotta get this light on. <laughs> we gotta get that light on for ya. It's like Motel 6, they'll leave the light on. Where's your Motel 6? Three of Blades. It's kind of feeling alone. Oh, you've got Three of Blades and Three of Coins. Okay, this this is kind of isolating here. Feels like not being included. Well, it's either not being included or discluding yourself. It's like extracting yourself from <clears throat> something here no matter how painful. Painful extraction. Knight of Blades. Well, if, if there's some kind of painful extraction, the Knight of Blades can get it done, that's for damn sure. Oh my gosh, followed by the King of Blades, and if the Knight of Blades can't get it done, you got backup. Holy crap. You've got backup. It, it kind of, I'm getting this, like, rallying the troops vibes. Like, someone, somewhere, I don't know if it's a person or just a, a big energy, wants you to succeed. This, they want this light on for you. They want you to start as much as you want to start. There's some kind of, some kind of painful extraction of some sort. That needs to happen. I'm not quite sure what it is yet, but you've you've got you've got support here. You've got some major support here. Wow. It's like this this guy here. He almost looks bored. Like he's waiting. He's waiting for you to call on him somehow. He's like, Scorpio, I've been ready. <laughs> and, that, and this could be like a bigger energy, like a guide or something, or... But you have assistance. You have assistance, and they've been waiting for you to call on them to, to help with this situation here. Because if you get too far into it, you may not feel like you can do it alone. It's like if you let it get control of your swords, your your mental, like if you overthink it or something, I don't, I don't know. You're too vested. Oh, I like this. Okay, so we have four of wands here, and this is, yeah, it's ready for you. There is something ready for you. It's like, ding, fries are done, okay, Scorpio? Something is ready and waiting for you. So if, if, some, if, if there's any of you that are distracting yourself with frivolous things, in the guise of waiting, it's time. It's time to take some action. <laughs> Queen of Coins. See, I like this Queen of Coins because she is not a show off. She is not a show off. 
And she kind of has this <clears throat> ring around, I don't know if this is on all the coin cards, I don't know. But she has like kind of like this ring kind of emanating from her. And it's, it's, it's a nice energy. It's like, it's almost like this is what, it's like this is where you're headed to a very nice energy. I mean, like this could very well be like her humble home waiting for you. Wow, and we have the Hermit, okay. So we have the Hermit with the Page of Coins. And I wanna say this is how you see yourself. You see yourself in some aspect as a page instead of a queen because we have the Hermit here. I don't know if there's something to do with self-worth or self-confidence. But you know what? This page of coins, she looks serious. I mean, <clears throat> it's like, um, it's like the page of coins, like with some Scorpio attitude. Like, look at this. I mean, it's not too far off. Younger you, older you. Younger you, wiser you. So we have the Two of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, you're <clears throat> you're on your way to meet somebody. You're on your way to meet somebody. It's like joining forces somehow. I mean, it doesn't have to be like a love situation. It just seems like there's, it's like the, you've got the wheel of fortune here. <coughs> and it's like the universe is going to put somebody in your path and you're gonna meet them. Of course, you have to get started first though. You have Eight of Cups here. It's weird, it's like it's um, <clears throat> like you're walking away from something obviously, right, with the Eight of Cups, but I don't think, I don't think these cups were anything that you were super vested in anyways. This doesn't feel like loss, or you know what I mean? Like it doesn't, like, this is the difficult situation here. This doesn't feel difficult. This is you following your path. You know what I mean? It's like, it's you being the wiser version of yourself, right? Because you've got the hermit with the queen and the page of coins on either side, right? It's like, it's, it's, it's you taking your wiser self following your path. I'm kind of curious though, who you're meeting up with. Oh, maybe it's joining. Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. It's, it's probably joining because it's coming out right after this here, this duo here. There's a merging because of the hermit energy. It's like the, your younger self, your older self merges together as one. That's what's going on here. Thank you, Hermit. Okay, that's what's going on here. And it allows you to not be distracted by things such as frivolities. Like your your BS detector gets an upgrade. All right, <clears throat> Ace of Cups, noise. 
All right, so we have Ace of Cups with the Ace of Wands. Holy crap, Scorpio. <laughs> yeah, you totally want to go down that path. Whatever this path leads to. <laughs> that It's like that's where the universe wants you. That's why the Wheel of Fortune is here. That's why this light needs to be on. Wow. That is super cool. Wow, we have this, after that is the sun. Like, yeah, exactly. And look, it's the same, oh my gosh, look. It's the same dog that's on the fool. Wow, you're really gonna like this. And then we have, we have strength. God, this feels like passing a test or something. It's like you, you did it. You did it, Scorpio. Wow. All right, two more cards. Two more cards for Scorpio's story. <laughs> awesome. So you have the moon. And for me, anytime the sun and the moon show up together in a reading, it's, it's like extra special magic, right? It's huge, huge forces, huge forces in your favor. And we have seven of coins and, and you totally, you just run with it. Like you, it's like, you've got, it, you have so much to do now. And I know the Seven of Coins can seem like a card of boredom, being bored, but what I see here is someone looking out at their field and just seeing the endless possibilities of what, what they can do with what they have grown, what they have created, what, I mean, like, I'm just seeing this as possibilities, kind of like as if it were a Seven of Cups almost. Your work, your, your work is going to pay off immensely, Scorpio. Wow. Okay. So, wow. Th this is really cool. So this is your, this is your message. This is your story. And, um, I thank you so much for being here. I'll see you later. Bye, Scorpio.